Restoration by Rose Tremaine. Restoration is one of my favorite books. I get something different from it every time I read it. It has history, intrigue, pathos, allegory. This book has it all. Restoration tells the story of the rise, fall, and rebirth of its unlikely hero, Robert Merivale. The story is told by Merivale himself. And, in his own words, he's a man of great enthusiasm, and he often falls prey to his huge appetites. He's fully aware of his foibles, and of the fact that he's sometimes a figure of fun, and this makes him pretty lovable, I think. He's a former medical student. At the time when um, the first uh, studies of circulation of the body are going on, the first um, autopsies, and uh, he abandons this exciting field uh, when he's given the opportunity to take care of the king's spaniels. Um, later on, he's given the job of marrying one of the king's mistresses in order to keep the king's main mistress uh, happy, off his back. Um, Merivel gets a title and a manor which he loves in Norfolk. But the one thing the king has asked him not to do is to fall in love with his uh, so-called wife. But Robert being Robert, he can't help himself, and he does, and all is lost. He loses his manor, his fine possessions, <clears throat> all he's left with is his horse. Uh, so he goes on a series of adventures, or more properly misadventures, which lead him to an asylum in the Fen country, uh, where he's on the cutting edge, so to speak, of um, modern psychology. Uh, he, then he goes back to London just in time for an outbreak of the plague and the Great Fire. Uh, Robert encounters many memorable characters along the way, uh, not least of whom is the enigmatic figure of Charles II. He cuts a godlike swath across the novel. He doesn't appear that often, but when he does, it's always at a crucial point. Ultimately, though at great cost, Robert comes to find what it is that he truly desires. Uh, Tremaine's writing is very evocative. She doesn't write long books, but her use of words is so um, clever as to build a whole picture. You use your own imagination to fill it in. Um, I guess when you know which words to use, you don't have to use quite as many. For me, reading Restoration is as easy and pleasant as drinking a tall glass of cold water on a warm day. I urge you to give it a try.